I wanted a round coffee table to balance a rectilinear furniture arrangement, but when I found this $25 table at a yard sale, I figured I could do something circular to it. First, I had to strip the dated white paint from the top with a chemical stripper. This took a few rounds. Meanwhile, the base only needed a light sanding followed by primer before I brushed and rolled it with three coats of black self-leveling paint. After the top was sanded clean, it was time to add a circle. Nearby was a trash can lid, which was the perfect size for tracing an off-center circle with my scratch-all. This gave me a faint line for hand staining the circle with an oil-based gel stain. I was immediately concerned with how this gel stain was going on, rather thin and blotchy, but I hoped that a second coat would even out the look. However, even after applying two coats, I could see that the effect was unimpressive. That's when I decided to simply paint in the circle with a top quality suede effect paint. I applied two coats of stain to the wood tone part and then moved on to creating a circle with see-through yellow tape. By tracing the circle with my awl and then running a utility knife along this groove, I was able to mask around the circle to protect the stained area. After lifting the tape and ensuring that the curved edge was adhering well, I began the painting phase. I rolled the specialty paint and then applied random short brush strokes to bring out the intended suede look. However, I learned that this effect shows up best on walls. Once the top was polyurethane, the suede look pretty much disappeared. Still, I was happy with the final color and the bold graphic element it brought to the center of the room. And it was certainly better than the dated farmhouse look of the table I started with. Follow or subscribe at Design Marquee, and thanks for watching.